Topping your news tonight, a convicted con artist who police say is at it again was picked up today after he was set free last week on a technicality. This time, police also picked up 34-year-old Zachary Cariaga's minor son for his involvement in Cariaga's alleged scams. Last week, Zachary Cariaga was arrested and charged with nine counts theft by deception. He's accused of scamming residents, including Manila Mayor Nito Blas, out of money. Police say Cariaga would claim to have tools for sale, take the buyer to a home he claimed to be his, collect the cash from his victims, then disappear out the back door without completing the sale. Cariaga was booked last Thursday, but police had no choice but to release him just a day later. Attorney General spokesperson Carlina Charferis tells PNC that because her office did not receive the police report in time on Friday, they could not move forward with pressing charges on that day. Now, normally, the AG's office could wait until the next day because under Guam law, defendants must be brought before a judge within 48 hours of their arrest. However, the magistrate's Sir. hearing on Saturday was not scheduled until 2 p.m., well after the 48-hour rule. Today, Cariaga was picked up on six cases, some from last year. And some of these cases, according to GPD spokesman officer A.J. Bilahaja, involve Cariaga's 17-year-old son. Some of the charges include conspiracy to commit robbery, child abuse, guilt established by complicity, jurisdiction over an adult, and theft by deception. But that's not all. Apparently, this is not the first time Cariaga has been arrested for scamming people. It turns out he has a full rap sheet dating back to when he was a minor. Court records show that Cariaga has had five juvenile cases, and when he became an adult, he was again in and out of prison. He was arrested three times for theft of a motor vehicle, once for family violence, and twice for impersonating a government official. In fact, he served time for a 2005 case in which he was convicted of impersonating a public health officer. In 2012, police say he went at it again, impersonating a Department of Labor official. But in that case, he was booked and released. The Attorney General's office now has 48 hours to move forward on pressing charges against Cariaga.